In this video we're going to be looking at finding the median from a group frequency table or quite often from a histogram. Okay, so we're going to look at those two. Um, and it's given by this formula. The formula is the lower bound plus number into category divided by number in category times the class width. So this fraction here is just telling you what fraction into the group, into the class, the median is. You times that by the class width to find out um, how many numbers into the group it is or you know how far into the, you know what uh, that fraction into the group that is and then you add that onto the lower bound. So let's look at a typical question. So here you've got a table and it's got a survey of adults um, expenditure expenditure on mobile phone calls. Last month was carried out and here's a table and you've got expenditure and frequency and we've been asked to find the median. Okay, the first thing you need to do is, oh, well, by the way, this is an estimated median, just like estimated uh, mean, because you don't know exactly what the numbers are. So we're going to work out an estimate of the median. Okay, since it's an estimate of the median, uh, let's work out how many people there are all together. So we're going to add this up here. Okay, so you do that. So 42 plus 20 plus 14 plus 8 plus 16. So there's 100 people all together. So there's 100 all together. And we want to work at the median, the middle one. Now, because this is an estimate of a median, we're just going to half this 100, okay? We're not going to add one and half it, okay? So we're just going to half it, and we're going to be looking for the 50th person. The 50th. Now, strictly speaking, that isn't the exact median, okay? It's just that the 50th person is the median, okay? We're just taking an estimate. So looking for the 50th person, well, there's 42 people in the first category. So, so far we know that the medians, the 50th ones, are not in there. Now, the next category is got to 20. So, so far there's been 62 people altogether. We're looking for the 50th one. So, we know that the median has to be in this category. Always star the category that the median's in, because that will give you at least a mark, sort of showing that you know what um, you know group it is in. So, we're looking for the 50th person. There's been 42 so far, so we want to go another 8 to get the 50th one. So we want to go 8 people into this category here. Because we've gone 42, we want to go another 8. So the number into the category will be 8. So what we're going to do is we're now going to use the formula. Okay, so, um, let me just get another color pen. Let's do it in green. So lower bound in this category, the lower bound in this category is 20. The lowest number, 20. Plus, number into category, well, we said that the median would be 8 into this category. So it's 8 into the category, divided by the number in the category, where well, there's 20 in the category. So it's 8 twentieths of the way into that group, times by the class width. So the class is from 20 to 40, so it's 20 wide. We're going to times that by 20. Okay, so we're going to do... 20 plus 8 twentieths times 20, and then that will tell us what an estimate of the median is. Actually, you can do this without a calculator because 8 twentieths times 20 would just be 8, and then plus that on the 20 would be 28. Uh, just going to show you on the calculator just, just so that you know you can see. Uh, 20 plus 8 twentieths times 20 equals 28. So an estimate of our median is 28. That can be used for lower quartile, upper quartile, or any particular value that you're looking for, okay? So for instance, if I wanted to find the lower quartile on this one, I would divide this by four. So I'd be 25, and I'd look for the 25th person. The 25th person would be in this category here. So we would start that lower quartile is in this one, and we would do lower bound zero plus number into category, where we're looking for the 25th person. So it'd be 25 out of 42 times by the class width, which is 20. And also, if we were looking for the upper quartile, and that will give our answer, and if we are looking for the upper quartile, we would then do 3 quarters of 100, which is 75. You'd find where the 75th person is. So 42 plus 20 is 62, plus 14 is um, 76. So it's just in this category here. So the upper quartile is in that one. And so the lower bound would be 40 plus number into category. Well, that's 62 to get the 75, you'd have to add on another 13. So it's 13 out of 14 times by the class width, which is 10. And then that would work out the upper quartile for you. Okay, so that's how you find the lower quartile or the upper quartile or the median for a frequency table. Now, in terms of histograms, you would do exactly the same thing. What I would normally do is I would turn back to this table in the question and work from the table.